Welcome everyone. In this video, I am going to show you a PPT on R integrated project on computer science. This project is made by me. I am Mudur Pati of class 12th A studying in Kendra Vidyalaya No. 2 Delhi CAN. This project is made under the guidance of Mr. ML Meena Sir, PGT Computer Science. So let us start. Since I am in Delhi, we got the theme Sikkim. But this project can be applied anywhere with just minor modification only. You know, Sikkim is the paradise on earth. But let us see first the contents of this PPT. First we got the fact file on Sikkim and then the big question, the big picture as to how art, nature, computer science, Fibonacci, Sir, golden ratio all related to Sikkim. So let us see. Sikkim, you know, it is a very small state in the northeast of India. It has beautiful flora, fauna as well as it is very culturally rich. Its capital is Gangtok. But we are not interested on this. We are much more inter interested in this. How is all this related? How the Fibonacci series, the golden ratio is related to Sikkim? Well, as a CS student, everyone knows a Fibonacci series, how it is implemented in recursive way and non-recursive way and how to make it. But how it is related to Sikkim and flowers? Well, it is related through this, the golden ratio. Golden ratio is everywhere from simple plants to dazzling monuments. Most of the plants in nature follow this golden ratio only. That is, the flowers spiral out in this golden ratio only. In fact, it is the most optimum way to increase the surface area for increased photosynthesis. And second, being rich with numerous exotic plants and flowers and beautiful uh, leaves, they have the epitome of this example. It is like God themselves made this to make Sikkim the paradise of the earth. But how is this golden ratio in fact related to computer science? I have not answered that, but I will answer it. The thing is, the golden ratio is most accurately estimated by the famous Fibonacci series. In fact, if you take any two numbers that is consecutive in this Fibonacci series, and you divide them, you will get this golden ratio only. But what is golden ratio exactly? Well, technically, the golden ratio is defined as this. Say you have two numbers, A and B. Suppose A is the larger number and B is the smaller number. If the sum A plus B divided by the larger number, that is A, is equal to the ratio of the larger number divided by the smaller number, that is A by B, which means A plus B by a is equals to a by b if this is equal then it is called the golden ratio and the approximated value of this is 1.618 and it is represented by this greek letter phi in fact it is a very irrational never ending number which like pi goes forever but here is the thing if if you laid out the fibonacci series like 0 1 1 2 3 5 you know this and if you divide them, like 1 by 1 is 1, 2 by 1 is 2, but 3 by 2 is 1.5 and 5 by 3 is 1.6. And if you carry on and took larger numbers like 55 and 34, you would get eerily closer to this uh, golden ratio only. Like 55 divided by 34 is equal to 1.618. In fact, if you take even larger number, it will get even more closer to this golden ratio. And this can be visualized easily only. Suppose you have a square of 1, side length 1, and then you laid out another square of side length 2, 3, 5, 8, exactly in the Fibonacci series. And if you join them, you will get this golden ratio, this beautiful golden ratio, which is followed in nature only. So this is how Fibonacci series golden ratio all related to Sikkim. Now let us see how we can make this Fibonacci series in Python. First, we will see non-recursively. It is a very simple program. First, we have taken a variable first equals to 0 and the uh, variable second equals to 1. And then we have printed it in a single line. Now, if we put input a uh, number which is greater than 2, obviously, because first two numbers are 0 and 1 only. And if you input any number which is greater than 2, it will what it will do is it will create another variable third and it will add first plus second, which will be 0 plus 1, 1. And then it would print it and this first and second would uh, become second and third that is one and two will, will become the first and uh, second number and then it will be added and the output would be printed here 
Now let us see how we can create this Fibonacci series recursively. It is a very simple program again. If if we input any number which is smaller than zero, that is negative, obviously there would be no Fibonacci series. Which is please enter a positive number. If the n is equal to one, it will return zero, and n equals to two, it will return one. Else, it will just go to back to the program Fibonacci series n minus one plus Fibonacci series n minus two, basic recursive thing, and then it will print it. So, and this is the output of this Fibonacci series program. This is a very simple program. So, if you like this program, this PPT, and please share your views on this comment section, and please leave like and subscribe.